Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, your favorite place to wise up on crypto. And for this installation of your Wise Beyond Bitcoin University, we're going to go over the difference between CFI, centralized finance and cryptocurrency, not traditional finance, DeFi, decentralized finance, and DeFi Lite, a hybrid between DeFi and CFI. At the end of this, you'll have a better understanding of the three different markets. And also when you come and look at these market caps and you go look at cryptocurrency by market cap and you'll scroll down, you'll have a better understanding of what all these different cryptocurrencies are. In the last video, last session, we talked a little bit about the difference between proof of work and proof of stake and smart contracts. So the more you look at these, the more you'll understand the nuances and the differences. Today, going over CFI and DeFi, looking at this coin market cap right now, CFI, Binance Coin, in the top 10 is a, is a coin for a centralized exchange. And let's see here. We've got, of course, Uniswap is a token for the DEX. We're not going to go over that today, but Aave is a token for a decentralized finance product. And that is one of them. And of course, Celsius is another one, which we'll go over. And you see that they're in the top 20. They are in the market for DeFi. So we're going to go over those today and what exactly that is. All right. We're also going to go over quick Coinbase to let people know the difference. Uh, this is, would be in the CFI category, what most people are familiar with. So Coinbase is an onboarding ramp for many people to attach their bank accounts. You can uh, register. It's AML, KYC, and once you register and you create an account and you log in, directly from your bank, you can buy Bitcoin and Ethereum, and they have others as well, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. So Coinbase is an onboarding. It is CFI. You do not control your 12 words like you're familiar in, with Wise Token or on the Ethereum chain, MetaMask wallet, where you are the owner of your keys. This is a custodial wallet. So whatever you control or own in Coinbase, is in their system. So if there were a hack, if there were a major issue with Coinbase, you could potentially lose your funds. They're at risk and you aren't in control. That is CFI. I don't know all of the different offers that Coinbase has at the moment, but I'm sure that they have some offers if you leave crypto or you lock up crypto with them, many projects do. All right, that's a quick Coinbase. And going from Coinbase, we'll look at Binance. So Binance, is similar to Coinbase. I I believe you can link up your bank accounts now and you can you can also purchase crypto directly. I, I'm positive you can. But Binance even further is a large exchange. So if you register with Binance and you create an account with Binance, you will have access to swap in and out of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and fiat markets, altcoin markets, They're, they have a, a lot of liquidity, a lot of access to different tokens, different coins on different chains. That is still CFI. When you create an account with Binance, your wallets, whatever you're trading on Binance, is, is they are the custodian. It's through their wallets. You do not have your 12 words. You do not control the private keys. Many times throughout the history of crypto markets have exchanges because of regulation or hacks, uh, many different things happen where people either lose all of their funds or slash a huge portion of their funds to cover the costs of the damages that, that hit all the people in whichever market got hacked. So just be aware that in CFI, you, that added element of risk is that third party counterparty risk. That, that's what exists in, in all versions of CFI. And Binance, Coinbase will be some of your top two CFI crypto markets. From there, we're going to go to, try to keep this quick and simple. From there, we're going to go to Celsius Network. And Celsius is a protocol that allows you to, I should click on their homepage first before going straight to it. I was going to go straight to the nitty gritty, but, uh, oh, maybe that doesn't take me there. Let's see. Go back. There we go. Up. And we're there. So Celsius Network is a protocol where you can, let me scroll up and show you, you can take your cryptocurrency and you can deposit it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm scrolling fast. Okay. Crypto on your terms, kind of. 
you can earn rewards, you can borrow, and you can pay and transfer using their app. It's a it's a wallet also where you can hold different cryptos. You can lock up your cryptocurrency with them, another custodian, and they will allow you to earn interest. You can also lock up cryptocurrency as collateral and you can borrow against it. Again, this is a centralized third party um, foundation. There, there, it's not completely automated protocol. You do rely on a third party serving as your intermediary for these returns and for this interest and you are at risk so long as your funds are with that third party. However, they offer interesting, they offer, they offer great rates of return on Bitcoin and Ethereum and USD at the moment. The risk again is, is that you're at the, you are at the mercy of the, of the success of the Celsius protocol. And if they take a big Bitcoin hack, if they took a big USD coin hack, if something major happened to exploit the program, then all of the all of those who have liquidity or assets locked up, I'm sure will take a slash and take a hit. That's just how it works. And and there you go. So that's one of them. But an, a, one thing to know is something really decentralized. That's why I scrolled down. I'm gonna go back to where I was looking. Frequently asked questions help center. And I want to show you KYC identif identity verification. So what is it? Why do I have to submit identity? So just so you understand. That's why I say this is not true DeFi. Like Coinbase, like Binance, and like Celsius, all of these require KYC AML, which is legal regulations in order to participate, which is the exact opposite of the liberating and the decentralizing nature that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies were supposed to offer. It was supposed to be available to anybody with a computer who could join the network and secure the network and be a part of the network and add value to the network. And so many people are chasing getting rich and chasing riches and chasing being the next Bitcoin millionaire that they've lost sight of the value of what cryptocurrency offers in the first place. And they, I suppose, just jump on to anything that will offer a quick buck and a quick return. And you may, it may work out very well. Uh, this may be a successful project as an intermediary in the world of cryptocurrency, but um, with, with the potential and the power of crypto, I feel it's a moot, it's, you know, it's a moot point. It defeats the purpose as more other decentralized finance products truly mature as we'll be going to later why would you choose a third party to be custodian of your keys when you could go through automated protocols and control it yourself the whole time but that's what celsius is to give you an idea and i had a picture down here if i can find it oh no it won't pop up because this is a browser so here we go let's move on to another great um in Aave, another another great protocol. So Aave is built on the Ethereum network. It's been around for a long time. I remember Aave back in 2017 when it was called ETH Lend. And it's a liquidity protocol where you can take your cryptocurrencies, uh, stable coins. You can see it's a lot of stable coins, mainly stable coins. And then you've got the centralized coin Binance. You've got the centralized coin Gemini. Uh, well, Gemini is an exchange. So I, I am presuming that there is a there is an element of risk tied to the exchange. Ethereum and the, the Aave token, which is the liquidity protocol itself, Uniswap, the decentralized exchange that you should be familiar with. Um, Urine Finance is an arbitrage liquidity pool token where people can lock up funds and and help grow the 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 value of the pool. Basically, the way a lot of these work. Everyone pools in um, di digital assets together, and the these these protocols will move them around in bulk to to maximize arbitrage and to offer the best exchange rates and exchanges for people that are using the Ethereum network uh, for these exchanges, and 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 as they move it around and take advantage of the larger pools, then those people who helped fill that larger pool will receive some of those those dividends, some of those payouts and those fees and what's earned from that arbitrage. 
So um, they help they help add liquidity and they help add efficiency to the market. That's what they do for exchanges. RAN is a protocol for onboarding Bitcoin, for wrapping Bitcoin. That's what that's its main function. Basic attention token works with Brave browser and um, I'm not going to get into the details, but it basically rewards uh, content, uh, people who contribute content or, the, or people have the ability to reward content creators directly. Engine Coin gets into gaming industry, virtual world. Kyber Network also works with uh, liquidity provision. Chainlink is, is an oracle that um, connects on-chain and off-chain services. Of course, we go down Maker, Synthetics, Wrapped Bitcoin. So what, what you need to know about this is, this is what Aave offers. Wouldn't be surprised if Wise Token ends up on here in the future. It, it, it has a great place, uh, it would be a great value added. But this, all of these different assets you, that you pull in, if, if this network takes a huge hit, if a few of these take a, take a huge hit and you're a liquidity provider, then you are, you are still, this is a, it is DeFi, but this would be more high risk DeFi. This would be a little bit higher risk DeFi than let's say, well, Last but not least, we'll get there in a second. Wise token. I had it written down. Let me see if I find. So this would be high risk decentralized finance, and what wise token would be your low risk stable DeFi. It's because it, it's a tokenized time deposit. Okay, that's what I wanted to let you know. So Aave is great. It's phenomenal, but it's not a tokenized time deposit. Just like when you go to the bank, there are different. You can put your money in the stock market, which is high risk because all of those different. Um, companies and all, all, all of the all of what goes into the stock market you you have added added risk there but then you can also go with the more secure bond and you can go with an instrument that is not going to give you as high a return you don't have that potential but it's more stable so wise token as a foundation to be money is not meant to be some high risk high flutin you know make it or break it wise token is a complete protocol and and ave does have a foundation it, it, it does still have work that can be done and, and built on top i believe i feel that there um the token that there there's a governance with that token and decisions can be made and changes can be done whereas wise token there is no foundation to control wise tokens and change anything it's a complete protocol which for a, for a money for a cryptocurrency that is necessary it's necessary for your cryptocurrency to be complete and I will link Ave, I will link Celsius, I will link Coinbase and Binance because this is an education outreach channel and the whole, empower you with knowledge so that you can help empower others and you have a better understanding. To understand the value of something, it's important to understand what, what it is and what makes it up. You know, if you don't know anything about cars, you can look at, you know, uh, a Chrysler next to a Bentley and say, well, what's the difference? They're, 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 they're the same thing. And a car buff would say, what do you mean? They're the same thing. They're completely different. And I feel it's the same to help educate cryptocurrency is a new, it's a new technology. It's a new branch of knowledge. And it's important to help share the nuances, teach people, especially in the wise community so that we can help protect others who are just getting into crypto and, and know, Hey, look, there's a lot of high risk. There's a lot of ways to, to lose your crypto and, and to lose your assets and to understand that there are protocols out there that are designed to truly be a store of wealth, a store of value and a medium of exchange and a unit of account in the long term. First, redeemable asset backed digital cryptocurrency with a price floor. No other crypto can do that. There's no price floor on any of these. There's no price floor on, well, I say that stable, stable coins hopefully have a price floor. But um, for actual um, ERC-20 for tokens that are on the blockchain, not designed to be pegged to a dollar, you won't find anything with a price floor. Now, here we are back at Wise Token. So if you're new to crypto and you're just getting started, your one-stop university shop to learn and get started, we, te we tell you all about it. We've got the price chart right there if you want to go see what's happening and where and what's going on. If you like to look at market patterns and, and market psychology and say, well, when's a good time for me if I, want to, if I want to try and time something right? That's on you. I'm not a TA expert. I will say that 
usually after corrections and times of consolidation, those tend to be great times to jump in. And whether it's today, tomorrow, or for the next week, this has been a pretty solid entry point. So whenever you decide to jump in, welcome to the WISE fold, the WISE community. It's one of the most beautiful crypto communities I have been a part of and known in my years in cryptocurrency. The teal paper right there, learn all about WISE token, the details, and scroll on down. We've got three steps. If you're brand new to cryptocurrency, it's like this stuff is overwhelming. We've got it broken down into three steps. Three steps. One, two, three. And we even break it down even easier than that. And I'll tell you how we do a video that walks you through all three steps. Boom. With a live example of the exchanges being made. So you know what to do when you see it on your screen. How do you stake WISE? What's, what is the purpose of WISE? It's, it's to be your own bank. It's to lock it up. When you're not using your dollars, you can, instead of putting them under the couch cushion, you can put them into an, an interest bearing time deposit until you decide to pull it back out. So how do you do it? Well, this video will walk you right through the process and know how to use wise token to its fullest, know how to help it grow, know how to maximize your returns and to help others help grow the community. You know, what other cryptocurrency, no other cryptocurrency values human beings, values people who are there to bring value and add value to the network without money. And this is a crypto that's designed through its protocol to pay passive returns and passive dividends to anyone who helps add real value to grow the network. It's beautiful. It's real. It's redefining crypto by doing it the right way. It's true DeFi. How it works, we tell you all about it. And of course, a little article, how it's made crypto history. Know your whys. Whys up. Now you know the difference between CeFi, DeFi, DeFi Lite. And of course, Wise Token stands a cut above the rest. And how does it do so? Well, let's click here and go check it out on the way out. Locked liquidity. It's the only, it's it's the one that rules them all. When we come here and we look at the overview of Uniswap, the decentralized exchange with over $3 billion in locked liquidity or in liquidity. And you see Wise Token, bada bing, bada boom, on its own at number six. Of course, you look at paired liquidity with Ethereum, which anyone with Wise Token and only with Wise Token can access that Ethereum pool. Number four, the only thing above it is Bitcoin and dollars. That's a good place to be. So whenever you want to walk out of your, your wise bond, your wise time deposit, and you want to go swap out of it, you can get ETH to power your gas transactions and for other beautiful things that you're doing. And the Ethereum network is, is building upon Ethereum is doing so many beautiful things for blockchain with smart contracts and decentralized applications know what WISE is. WISE is a smart contract decentralized application designed to be money on the Ethereum blockchain. And it did so by tokenizing the, the value of the digital asset Ethereum and creating a time deposit. And we all value time. And at the moment, many people value Ethereum. So long as the Ethereum blockchain and smart contracts continue to add value and grow as a technology, welcome to the beautiful world of WISE. Hopefully you have a better feeling of the difference between CeFi and DeFi. When you come and look at these cryptocurrencies by market cap, you'll say, oh, that's proof of work meant to be money. Oh, that's a proof of work moving a proof of stake smart contract protocol. Oh, that's tied to the dollar. Oh, that's another smart contract protocol meant to work alongside and interoperable with Ethereum. So the more you look at these and it breaks the mystery and the mystique and you start to understand what they are and their value propositions, and the value that they that they add. And then you can start to get a better understanding of how beautiful it is to be early on in WISE and to understand the value of how this is so innovative, this new iteration for crypto. Till the next time, have a beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you for your time and interest in our labor of love. We share our work to plant seeds of abundance and prosperity for a more harmonious way. This is not financial advice and we encourage you to do your own research. We are not paid or sponsored and we do not seek your money or investment. To show us love and pay it forward, just use our referral link in the description or at wisebroundbitcoin.com for claiming your 10% bonus crypto. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. If you disagree with our views, feel free to share with someone you find disagreeable.